very good. I think those three will It's March Madness time in U.S. college basketball, um, and one local realtor has a vested energized. interest in the NCAA tournament. School. We caught up to um, Ryan Saravelli at Boston now. Pizza really as he reminisced about his moment in the spotlight 14 if years Holy ago Cross playing for Holy Cross. Southern Ryan, we're sitting here today. It's 14 years to the day when you last played in the NCAA tournament. What does that feel like? 14 years kind of makes me feel a little old right, right now. But um, no, March is always an exciting time for me. It's one of my favorite times of the year. It brings back uh, wonderful memories. Um, a lot of tough memories because it wasn't easy, but some of the best memories that I, that I have in my life. So Ryan, at the halftime of that game, Holy Cross was up by two. Did you have a feeling that you could put this thing to bed, that you could take that game against the number one seed? It, that game still sort of haunts me because um, I remember it like yesterday. Kirk Heinrich unfortunately went down with an injury, I mean, with an ankle sprain. We were leading at half. The momentum was in our favor. Uh, Kirk, Kirk Heinrich didn't return to the game. So everything was sort of favoring us pulling off, you know, an upset of a lifetime. So you were a 16 going up against a number one. And we understood that a 16 has never beaten a one. And even to this day, I believe uh, over 127 games in the NCAA tournament's never been done. So we understood the, the magnitude of the game. It's just it was the wear and tear um, of playing at that high level. I think Kansas got to us as the game went, went further along. Um, it was just the physicality that wore us down and that, they, and that they were able to sort of prevail in the end. What would you attribute your success as a basketball player to? I mean, you know, coming out of Thorold <laughs> and going on to play into the, uh, in the NCAA tournament twice. I, I had a tremendous work ethic. Um, a high level of competitiveness. I, I believe it came from um, my parents. Uh, nothing was really ever given to me from you know from a young age, but um, I loved the game. I After losing all of its in-conference road games during the regular season, Holy Cross this year went on a miraculous Cinderella run of four straight league tournament wins away from home. The ninth-seeded Crusaders capped their run with a 59-56 win over Lehigh in the Patriot League Championship Final. So um, when I saw that, that win go and I saw the Holy Cross team uh, rush the court, it brought back wonderful memories. I was very proud to see the guys uh, do what they did because they didn't ha have really a successful season. Um, 14 and 19, their record. Which was very shocking. Yeah, it was very shocking. They didn't have a good road uh, um, season as well, like on the road winning uh, any games. So um, to be honest with you, I think a lot of us were shocked, but again, we were very proud. The NCAA tournament seems to be more and more popular each and every year. Why do you think it's so popular? I think it's centered around the passion. I mean, it's not about the money. Um, it's about the love of the sport. You have uh, these student athletes who, who train, who put a lot of time, a lot of efforts uh, in, into their craft. And um, it's great to see, you know, teams come together and uh, on the grand stage because a lot of these kids won't have that opportunity ever again in their lifetime. Saravelli played professionally in Europe for a few years before setting up his real estate business in Niagara. He says his competitive nature on the court was a natural lead-in to his business venture. I went to an independent company, created an independent company called Revel Realty and for that reason um, it sort of replicates you know playing at a school like Holy Cross and playing against the you know the, the, the bigger stature schools and uh, um, it's sort of the same work ethic that I learned at Holy Cross in the basketball world. You know, you work very hard at your craft and uh, you commit to something and good things happen. I mean, I'm very pleased to where the company is now in such a short time. Reporting for The Source in Niagara Falls, I'm Mike Balsam.